Hey guys, this is Sam, and there's actually a lot of iPhone 8 news out lately, more than I would anticipate for the beginning to middle of February of 2017, but there's a lot to talk about. So first up, if there's one thing you take away from this video, you stop watching that now, you're like, this guy's crazy, um, I want you to know that there's supposedly going to be three new iPhone models. So there's going to be the two normal upgrade models, the iPhone 7S and the iPhone 7S Plus, which are gonna have normal upgrades. I, I feel like what we've seen between the 6 and the 6S and the 6S and the 7 with a close design to what we have with the iPhone 7 now, but then there's also going to be the super insane iPhone 8 model. So to support this theory that there's going to be three different models instead of just one, there's a new rumor that says that production is going to be ramping up quite a bit earlier than normal, which is interesting and would totally make sense if they are going to have three new iPhone models. Now focusing specifically on the iPhone 8, this is where we get to have fun because the iPhone 8 is what most people will be paying attention to. It's going to be the most exciting and have the biggest new features one of which is reportedly an all-glass design. I'm gonna have some concepts that you can look at right now. Um, if my iPhone 8 looked like any of these, I would probably be super happy and never touch an Android phone ever again. But it does look nice, and we don't know exactly what Apple's gonna do, but we've been told it's gonna be something similar to the iPhone 4, where you have glass on the front and back, and I believe Johnny Ive has actually made a comment in the past about how he wants to make an iPhone that looks like a single piece of glass. And that would be beautiful, but if they want to do like glass on the front and back and then a thin silverish or, or certain colored aluminum strip around the edges to actually hold the phone together. And with that theory comes the thought of an edge to edge display with limited bezels. And it would make sense because the bezels on the iPhone right now aren't massive by any means, but compared to some really cool looking Android phones, thinner bezels make a phone look extremely sharp, and I'm a huge fan of that design. So in addition to that, get this, when I first read this rumor, I was like, there's no way this is not gonna happen, but apparently it might become a thing. There just might be a retina scanner on the iPhone 8. So in addition to a, what I assume will be a Touch ID sensor somewhere on the device, because the home button is reportedly going away as well, if it's all glass, there's going to be a home button embedded somewhere into the display, which is a whole nother engineering aspect that the iPhone 8 is reportedly going to take on. You have iris scanning. See, these are the type of features that I would love to see on the iPhone 8, because I don't think that there's any denying that in recent years, Apple has not been as competitive as they used to be. I mean, when I think back to Apple's glory days or golden days of engineering and ingenuity and innovation, I think about the iPhone 4. It was a completely new looking phone with a retina display and an amazing camera, and it just changed so much and did so much that the competitors weren't even looking at or thinking about. It was kind of the start of the modern phone per se, and if Apple can reinvent and bring some of that innovation back with the iPhone 8, it wouldn't just be great for the company, it would be great for consumers and everybody who uses technology, because it's just gonna keep pushing things forward when one company steps out there and tries their best to do something a little bit different. So as far as iris scanning goes, count me in. Now, in addition to that, I wanna talk about wireless charging. This is something that I think would be cool if Apple could pull it off correctly, but if not, it seems kind of pointless to me. I see so many companies, example, Samsung touting wireless charging and how it changes the game for charging your device. But my, my problem with wireless charging is that what's the point of setting your device on a specific charging pad when you could just use a cable in the first place. I mean, there's a cable from the charging pad going somewhere. But a while back, I saw this really interesting rumor saying that Apple bought this company with wireless charging technology where you could have a charging pad somewhere in the room, but even if my iPhone is all the way out of here and the charging pad is very far off screen in the corner, it would be charging my iPhone via these certain waves that would radiate from there to the phone. Now that wouldn't get me really interested for wireless charging, but anything else seems kind of redundant when you could just plug in the phone and be done with it. And finally, the last thing that I want to talk about is better waterproofing. I have not had an issue with my iPhone in water since I've had it, as far as the iPhone 7 goes, which is IP67 waterproof. Apparently this next gen is going to be IP68, which just means it's better when it's underwater for extended periods of time and also deeper. For me, waterproofing has never been a huge deal, but the fact that it's there is handy. If I drop my phone in a pool, I can only have like a half panic attack instead of a full version. Alrighty guys, so as of right now, that is everything that we currently know about the iPhone 7S, 7S Plus, and even the rumored iPhone 8 in the middle of February of 2017. Of course, as more news and rumors and leaks and actual images and videos of the device come out, 
I'll be making more videos here on the channel, so be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already so you don't miss out on that in the future. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like as well. And for push notifications whenever I upload something new, make sure to add me on Newsflash. I've been Sam, I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll talk to you later.